What's up nerds? Welcome to Not Good Enough Gaming, the channel where Andy plays games, so you don't have to. This is the next episode of the Luck of the Draw series. Six teams, four rounds, one ultimate epic winner. Take it away, Andy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, or welcome to Not Good Enough Gaming. I'm Andy, your host, and here we are again. One more week later, if you are watching in real time, which you must be on Twitch to be doing that. And if you're not, you're on YouTube or any of the other random websites that my content could be plastered upon. But anyway, if you're watching on those, subscribe on Twitch or YouTube. It'll help me out, well, exponentially at this point. <laughs> anyway we are here again a continuation of the this the series that i do the luck of the draw because the teams are randomly picked as such they are randomly picked six teams we're gonna have three rounds then a final round of all the winners and then we'll have one ultimate epic winner for the night um, these teams that i've seen that was picked by random some matches should go fast, some might go slow. However, I will say this is a little different, should I say, completely different. Every single match that I've ever done on this stream has been health-based, where the teams were all evenly matched according to their health points, as far as the team goes. Like, earlier on, I was doing 500 million health points, right? So, it was huge numbers of team, you know, team, team people on the... It was a lot for my computer. Let's just put it that way. What I'm doing now is damage-based rather than health. Because some of these guys are some OP'd, okay? So, let's turn them turntables. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, but anyway, let's get the first round going. Chat blown it up already. Man, it's super crowded. Lots of colors on there. Uh, hey, everybody. Take it away, Andy. Yes, that's me. Here we go. Here we go. Someone is going to lose. That's my prediction. Well, as long as everyone's having fun, that's what counts. And let's see what type of fun we got coming up here on round one. Nikola Tesla's and mother of all hens. Oh my, 20,000 Nicolas and 50,000 Mother of All Hens. And if you haven't seen Mother of All Hens before, well, they don't fit because they're so big. They're the mother of all hens. And let's get this match started. Beep, beep, beep. Here we go. I need to know who's going to win. Oh my, there they are. Looks like one just passed some gas. They're all spreading out. But anyway, this is a massive sea of chicken. Massive sea of chicken. They're so big. All right. Let's see here. Where are the Nicolas? That's a lot of chicken. Oh, here we go. So we got some Nicks over here. Flock them up, ladies. Oh, that's a good one. This random number keeps on calling me. Anyway, let's see, uh, let's see, so we got some votes for the chickens. I forgot to mention Nicholas Tesla's with a machine gun. Oh no, he's got his, uh, laser gun. His, uh, death ray. It's, uh, very interesting. It's very Emperor Palpatine-esque. If you haven't watched Star Wars, you don't know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Uh, good question. Yes, he is ranged. This guy is ranged. He's got his suit looking all dapper. All right, nice, nice save, Turtley Liss. Okay, we're about to have a first contact of the match. Two minutes into the match. Here we go. These are some big chickens, so they should be able to take some damage. Well, maybe... <laughs> Maybe not so much. Well, there's always going to be a loser, right? I mean... So what's interesting about these these ray guns is that it's kind of like splash damage. It's kind of sweet, you know, when it goes against uh, smaller characters. 
or <clears throat> units, smaller units out there. It's like a daisy chain. It was like, you know, lightning bolt, you know, type thing. Let's see. Balk, balk, chicken head. That's right. Haha. <laughs> yeah, take that, Colonel. Nicola bringing the 11 herbs and spices. That's amazing. Plenty of chickens to go around. I'm sure it smells delicious right now. Finger licking good. Delicious. They are not even reaching him. Yes, they're not getting close enough. Yeah, it's gonna be a blowout with it. Oh God, they're so big. It's gonna be a blowout for sure. Actually, I think in the official tournament that I had, it was, what was it, 50? I think it was 50,000 Nikola Teslas going against like like five and a half million free range chickens or battle ducks i i think it was the ducks but yeah oh my god talking about a massacre this is very similar to that <laughs> but it's like you know just constant just electric shocks. Oh my, what a what a buildup of Nicola's over here. As if they need extra support on this side. Well, maybe they do. I mean, who knows? We might be surprised and the chickens will... Will... Will overcome. No, it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm joking. That's not gonna happen. The goose is cooked, you could say. Poor giant chickens. Yes, I know. Four little cluckers coming up the uh the frame rate's doing pretty good but 130 140 frames a second which is this is awesome uh let's see here your camera has frozen again hold on thanks for letting me know hold on a second hold on doing the thing doing the thing well that's not doing the thing not even hiding. Right, that, that hid. Well, that's a bummer. Don't know what the problem is. Uh, sorry, 3,000 chickens, 2,700 chickens. They're dropping like flies or dropping like massive chickens. 1,700. 1,300. 1,000. Oh my. 300. One fifty. These guys are making some quick work. Just under eight minutes. Sixty left. Going up the mountain. The little ants are going up the mountain. Oh, we got some chickens caught on the cliff here. Pulling a turtle. Run and hide. Uh, let's see what a turtle list. You're you're saying uh, great. Now I'm not seeing you, and you're not seeing me. I know. It's like we haven't seen each other all week. Well, oh my. Well. 14 left, and it's nightfall. Coming up on eight and a half minutes, eight three quarters of the match. Almost nine, seven left. Yes, poor chickens, poor chickens indeed. And we got a winner. Chicken dinner, very appropriate. Very appropriate indeed for this round. You could say that was in delicious taste. <laughs> Got him. All right. You know, those are tasty jokes. Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for you for not being able to see my, my beautiful face. It is my money maker after all. I guess I need to invest in more than a $20 camera, which I joke about that. I really don't know what the problem is. It's been working just fine. Until then, it doesn't. You find the jokes are foul? Oh, bro. Round number two, red coats, 200,000, and blue army men, 1 million. What the hell? Okay, yeah, why not? Remember, this is different. We're doing damage, not health. Let's get them on the board. Let's get this thing going. Round two, here we go. Well, I see the army men. <laughs> That's not a lake. That's no moon. Again, another Star Wars reference. Sorry. Blue Army men, we've seen the other guys in action. I'm pretty sure they're roughly the same. 
Just kidding, they're identical. I saw the tan guys before, they were quite tan. These blue are quite blue. But yeah, there you go. As you can see, 200,000 versus a million. These guys don't put out a lot of damage. So that's, you know, why there's so many of them. Oh yes, that's right. For a round two, I need to know who's gonna win. My money's on the uh, the red coats. So if you're smart, you're gonna vote for the blue guy. Team two blue army men for Watts. Red coats. For it's like the the legendary show, red versus blue. Very appropriate. If only there was like a valley, a canyon valley that had no entranceway and no exit. That'd be a fun map. The blue guys are dropping, and so are the red coats. I don't know, folks. This one might might be a nail biter. I mean, we've seen the red coats in action. My goodness, these guys are filled with jelly. I guess that gives them the life. Bam, bam, bam. That's right. I mean, you would think that the blue army men would have more of a range, but you know. Okay, they're 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 nowhere. They have terrible aim, but I I can't give them too much crap because they are plastic after all is that more star wars bam 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 and no i believe that's the flintstones am i wrong lord when you said the jelly gives them life no no but this is great because anything i say now that doesn't make sense you're gonna think it's from star wars short for the blue army men yes bam 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 done yeah <laughs> lol i mean flesh and blood or Plastic and jelly, a shot from those musket ball, you know, the muskets, a musket ball or whatever it is. Tiny cannonball. I mean, you're going to come crashing down just like these guys. I mean, jeez. Oh, it's the gun sound? Oh, man. So after the Redcoats win, <clears throat> they can do the environment a great favor and uh, recycle all these guys. Get it? <laughs> just about five thousand red coats have fallen and over the starting amount of the red coats have been destroyed on the, the blue blue army men side this is quite a big battle folks quarter of the forces have been eliminated coming up on five minutes five and a half minutes let's go to the auto cam get some awesome shots and they all collapse <laughs> Gotta love that glitch. That's some awesome coordinated fire that the uh, the red coats are doing. Pew 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 pew. Lots and lots of soldiers still on the field. Lots of red coats. Boom. All right, check out the score. Good question, Watts. There we go. We got uh, twelve thousand red coats have been uh, eliminated. Coming up on. Half a million of the blue guys. It's half their force, folks. I don't know. I think the blue army men have a chance. They're starting to pile up here. Uh, I think the red coats can just hold their ground and then they'll win for sure. It almost looks like an underwater scene from above. It's trippy. What lake is this? A blue army man lake. Yeah, I tell you what, like, every time I see this stuff, like, I hate to, I would hate to be, like, all the way back here, trying to make my way to the front, and then get hit. Like, these guys are getting hit. Like that, he just got taken down. Like, way back here. Alright, well, let's see, Watts, less than 50% blue remain, about 90% red remains. Yeah, that's one thing that I wish that this game had was more of a, also a percentage, because, you know, that, that would be nice. At least commas, you know, for these big numbers. Nerd! Hey, nerds rule the world, okay? So, there is that. Alright, uh, we got 176,000 red coats, 280,000 blue army men, and dropping fast. It's only, they're only dropping faster. Yeah, comma, comma, comma club. Commas would be nice, because to me, they're just like, just a string of numbers. All right, army men trying to come over here and flank. 
using some fancy footwork strafing spreading out one to one ratio remain this is crazy definitely the redcoats are going to win they only lost not even 30,000 of their their troops got to admit though it's quite pretty 125,000 blue army men remain i guess you could say the army men blew it a good one watts ha <laughs> i guess you won that one <laughs> get it watts wins 96,000 blue army men, 170,000 red coats. Blue your mom. All right. All right. Calm down. Lol. 78,000. Uh, now it's 74,000. Coming up on 12 minutes of the match. And the red coats are charging. Red coats pushing their way through. Just making it rain, and it's nighttime. So is this how far they can shoot one of the... What? So is how far they can shoot one of the stats? Uh, yes! Sorry, long day. Yes, range. Attack range is one of the stats. Like, what is their distance range? Good question. Let me put, put this up like this. Let me... Seven? Okay, good guess. Let's see. Looking it up right now, folks. Where is it? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. On my cellular device. Hold on. Okay, let's see. Units. Haha, -ha, units. Blue army men. Army men blue. So their health is 100. Their damage is 10. Attack range is 150. Uh, red coats. Their health is 300, their damage is 50, attack range is 200. So the red coats do have the slight advantage. Uh, yes. Usually. But if they're if the if the numbers are that much greater, uh, we have seen doesn't work all the time, but we have seen, you know, forces being overtaken, you know, being surrounded and whatnot. Even though that they had the range. And now we're down to two. Winner! Chicken dinner! Congratulations, Redcoats. Alright, let's see. Chat blown it up. At these numbers, the crowding causes a clumping and the superior ranger seems to win. That's right. Yeah, sometimes... Yeah, you're absolutely right. At least on this particular map, there doesn't seem to be too many choke points. Which is my favorite thing to happen in this game choke points coming up round three so i was about 15 minutes on that match good i'm glad because i thought it was going to be like an hour or something like that with a, a million of those guys round three werewolves 125,000. alliance footmen 250,000 yeah th here we go this is gonna be fun reminds me of world of warcraft because you know the alliance and all all that that's wow oh <laughs> god yes uh, the alliance footman is from world of warcraft uh, the werewolf however is not they're from the game so i need to know Who's gonna win? We got the Alliance or we got the Werewolves? And oh my god, we have contact over here. So fast. Boom, okay. Not looking good for the Alliance. Oh, interesting. They can get smacked around and it looks like they can get smacked around some more. Okay, no. <laughs> Definitely gonna be a chaotic match, I can tell you that right now. So you got the, the Werewolves. It's two to one with favoring the alliance let's see i'm slightly sick of werewolves so i'm going to alliance okay well jesus i don't think they have fleas come on your mom's vagina is gonna win okay she's not playing all right werewolves slashing and dashing the alliance okay what is <laughs> they look ridiculous i mean it's so chaotic 
Because what happens is that these guys get thrown way behind enemy lines, and then they get just smacked around the bodies. Yes, these guys are covered. And then, of course, the lion's just getting thrown around all over the place. Now we got the classic zipper action going on here. We got the werewolves and we got the alliance trying to overcome the the scrimmage line here, but oh my. Glitch. Has team one the wolves? Yes. Yes, team one is the wolves. Neither one able to outflank the other. That's right. Yeah, this is we saw this a lot with the uh that big tournament that I had. Just massive forces just kind of like spilling against each other like this. Constantly trying to flank, but if the Alliance is able to hold on, they could potentially outflank the werewolves. We've seen that before where uh, the, uh, the Alliance gets, well, you know, in this case, the Alliance could get thrown all the way around the werewolves. And then just the werewolves would end up, you know, sur having themselves surrounded because of it teen wolves i think that was a classic movie therefore they're gonna win okay well valid point i like your argument i think the uh i think the alliance is gonna win let's go with that because why not remember every time i vote i'm always wrong werewolf smacking these guys around isn't gonna be enough i mean they're they're jumping like fleas i mean this <laughs> chaotic for sure it's a long battle line oh my we got the just a massive horde of the werewolves just making their way around the forces of the alliance are the flying footmen dead or just knocked around uh, they're actually just knocked around well, no hold on let's see if i can catch one see i saw earlier they would get smacked and they were getting up. But you know what? They might be dead. No. They are alive. Some of them. But then they instantly get smacked again. See, the werewolves would not be attacking those characters if they were already, you know, done. Alright. So, the uh, werewolves are definitely flanking the alliance i mean they're making a wide turn around these guys that's definitely a good move for the werewolves yes that is quite nice that the werewolves aren't hitting the dead bodies all right let's check out the uh the body count hundred thousand werewolves and seventy five thousand alliance remember folks the alliance had twice as much as the werewolves for the start this battlefield is just littered but not looking good for the alliance they are starting to get overwhelmed their shields are not gonna be a match for these guys these are uh, the werewolves just getting smacked and launched 40,000 alliance remain and they got they are surrounded by the werewolves i don't like the bloody werewolves well, we know you didn't like the the werewolves. That's why you voted for the uh, the alliance. They look gross. What these guys? These guys? These guys? Just think as them as candy coated fuzzy bears. That's right. They are candy coated because uh, yeah, it's like they're all sticky with cotton candy. Let's go with that. 13,000 Alliance, 94,000 Werewolves, and they're, well, yeah, these guys are done. Down to the last man, 9,500 Alliance remain. Oh my. Oh look, it's a Kool-Aid pond. Oh, you have God power selected, that's powerful. Oh yes, watch, that is actually correct. This is blood, it can get quite deep. It's a mechanic in this game where water, the, they, these developers really liked the physics with the water. And so they implemented this mechanic where, you know, blood can start pooling up just like if it was raining or if you were flooding the place 
same mechanic. So because it's also a liquid, characters can ca get damage if they were if they're submerged long enough within it. So it's a hazard, basically. Uh, winner, werewolf. Didn't see that coming, but let me howl on out of here. Team three or uh, match three. Congratulations. Werewolf, you are victorious. All right, let's let's take out the losers. Mother of all hands, goodbye. Blue army men crumbled, and footmen fell. Fell a foot. All right, fourth and final battle. Wait a minute, Turt. You said that's powerful. Oh wait, you have none. Are you so? <laughs> These men aren't goats. <laughs> What's happening? Anyway, let's get this uh, fourth and final round going. Uh, beep, 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 here we go. So the winners are gonna be going at it with a my mysterious team four. You saw half of the forces, it's the orcs, and they are accompanied by a new unit you have not seen before, mortars. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Modern day tech, or sorta. Yeah, that's modern day tech. Uh, they're now animate, and they are joining the battlefield. So you got orcs and mortars. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, let's see, who are the armies? Good question. So we got team one, we got Nicholas, and team two, we got who's the who's the second winner? This is the red coats, and then team three are the werewolves and then team four are the mortars and orcs oh my so the mortars might take this one folks but they this is the very very first entrance to the streams here the uh the mortars they are making it rain ha <laughs> team one Tesla team, team, uh, yeah, yeah, Tesla team two, Red Coats team three, Werewolves team four, Mortar Orcs. That's right. And the Orcs are using the Mortars as cover fire so they can get up close and personal. But here you go. You got, you got some Nicks over here just demolishing the Orcs. Man, this is so chaotic. You got Mortars all over the place. Shells all over the place take it away auto cam let's see all of the battle here holy crap and there's the red coats getting blown up and get the werewolves getting blown up the orcs going at it more mortars what a massacre and then the red coats they're making their way over there werewolves orcs explosions brought to you by michael bay this is crazy, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to end the stream here. So we got, it's just raining mortars. <clears throat> but I think this is appropriate because we have the orcs and the mortars, you know, coming down the mountain because they're tired of all these armies, you know, fighting on their land, all this stuff. Uh, let's see, Lord, I think Autocam is going to win this match. You know what? Hands down, it already has. With the mortars lining it up, Launching them out. And there it goes. Redcoats literally not knowing what's hitting them. Because, you know, 18th century. Lol. Uh, yes, I do believe the bodies that are in the sky now are deceased. <laughs> Somersaulting redcoats. That's right. And now they still have a pretty decent amount on the field. They could make it rain again. You know, towards the the mortars there. But wow, these guys! Whoa, they're flying all the way over here, making it rain. All right, so gotta remember that the orcs and the mortars poured down the mountain, so they're all over the place. We got the the massive company of the Teslas, almost twenty thousand of them. I think not even a hundred of them have been have fallen. But oh man, what a battle we got right here. We got the mortars 
perched up, launching down. And we have a solid mass of orc. It looks like the Teslas might be able to make quick work of them, but the mortars are just... Man, what a what a tough matchup this is right here. I mean, we got the Teslas pushing through. So, if you're checking this out, we got Teslas falling down, but they're getting back up. That's how tough they are. And the mortars trying to provide cover fire for the orcs. We get one little Tesla bolt, just knocks a dozen orcs off. They don't get back up. And it's just a matter of time there. There's only so many orcs. Team 4 with a 55,000. And they're just pouring out the mountain here. Holy crap. There's so many of them. Oh, and there's the end. <laughs> we got some ruins up here. And who are you? The stragglers. Very nice. Well, we can see where the mortars are at. Let's see, uh, the mortars range is a serious advantage, but Tesla Lightning Gun is nothing to, to discount just yet. That's right. It's really anybody's game right now, except for the red coats. I really don't think they got much, <laughs> much left. There's 2,000 left, and that rain of fire is getting closer and closer. And here comes another big barrage. Yeah, 1,800 of these bad boys are left. 50 thousand motor courts motor orcs left yes i don't know because remember tesla is team number one and they got nineteen thousand and six hundred uh, they started with 20 so they've only lost maybe four not even 400 yet but if they if they can use their mortars to their you know advantage and making it rain just like they are over here, although I think this is a painfully slow death. I mean, come on, mortars, move up faster. <laughs> what character is zapping? You mean Tesla? What did mortar start with? They were up there. They had seventy or eighty thousand. Okay, these guys slowly getting blown up. It's like they're trying to get close enough so they can shoot, but the mortars way past the tree line there. Just making it rain. Orcs running in. This guy's trying to do something. 500 left of the red coats, 600 left of the werewolves. And what happened here? That's what I want to know. <laughs> what we got here? We got orcs and mortars. Mortar orcs moving their way through. Oh, there's Nicola. Okay, raining on your own men. If only there was friendly fire, I'm telling you. All right, another epic battle that's happening here. We got the Nicolas and then we got the orcs. Nicolas are getting knocked off the ledge. That's why this is taking so much longer. However, with their their robust health, they're able to get back up and keep on fighting. The orcs, however, they get the zap, and then they're zapped out. Nikolai? Let's see. Wait. Uh, is the Futurama character? What? <laughs> no. Are you thinking of Zap Brannigan? The, the commander of that of that ship from Futurama? No, we're talking about Nikola Tesla, like the, the OG. All right, so the orcs, I don't know. I don't know if the orcs are going to make it. The, uh, the mortars are definitely a great asset to that team, but, I mean, you can't even see where they're coming from. They blend right in, and, oh, man, they're moving back. They can move back and shoot. Nikola's... Finding them. Zapping them around. Oh my. 20,000 of Team 4, the Mortar Orcs. And 19,000 of Nicholas. Ladies and gentlemen, Team 2 and 3 have been eliminated. No more Redcoats, no more Werewolves. Holy crap. And an epic battle going on up here. Love the lighting. Yeah, Nicholas pushing their way through. 
Mortars coming down the ledge, making their way up the mountain. This is going to be a close match. The uh, Nikolais are up by 4,000. We got mortars, mortars coming down. Oh my, so much going on. <laughs> There's only two teams. Complete chaos right here. Just mortars everywhere. Just, whoa. <laughs> I know this is death and destruction, but it's quite beautiful. All right, we got the Nikolais. The more Nikolais coming up. The mortars are so tiny. They're, they're very hard to visually see, so you just have like these fireballs basically launching from the ground. And then they're trying to blow up the mountain. Oh, targeting the one guy. Whoa. All right, Nikolas outnumber the motor orcs two to one. Let's see here. Chat. I like to see the mortars win. They are cute, aren't they? Can the mortars only shoot distance? Like, do they have to have a dead zone close? No, they can. The, in this game, you can do point blank. Uh, so you can be like up close and personal. There's no friendly fire or anything like that uh, that I have discovered in this game. I've seen catapults and tanks like obliterate opponents when they're right up on them. Okay, Lord. All right, Nicholas. Planning their next move. They're in formations. This is interesting to see here, folks. And they're on the move. Oh, there they are. Oh, my. Spreading it around. Do you believe we found all the mortars? There's 9,000 of the mortar orcs. 17,000 of Teslas. All right, Autocam. Take me to the action for the win. Nice scene. There they go. Mortars on the move. Benjamin Franklin. That would be kind of fun. Oh, we got some orcs up on the, the, the top of the, the mountain. There we go. Those guys fell. Mortars making it rain as they do. Ladies and gentlemen, quite a range that they have. A little scuffle right here. Nice direct hit on the, the Tesla. So you can see... Well, that guy got knocked out. Oh my, here they are. They are ready to hold their ground. Good night. Oh, they're tracking a, a Tesla that's that's moving. Moving through the air. It is a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen. Coming up on 19 minutes on this match. Scores. Uh, you got 8,800 of their mortar orcs left and uh, 17,600 of the Teslas. The single file line of Teslas might cost the match. Yes, however, they might be banking on getting knocked around, causing them to spread throughout the whole area. Or maybe even sail closer to the mortars. That's happened before. Holy crap. Oh my. That was pretty sweet. Carpet bomb for the win. And this is exactly what's happening. So the Teslas are getting blown up into the air, knocked around the battlefield, and then all the mortars are trying to track them while they're flying through the air. That's why you have all the mortars going everywhere. But it's quite beautiful. All right. Kill count. We got 17,300 Teslas. There's only 300 have fallen, but we got 5,500 mortar orcs left. Uh, 3,300 have fallen. Yep. Getting, getting into the red zone now. Ooh. So I'm not sh These must be like broken mortars here. Like the bodies of the mortar. All right. 4,600 of the mortar orcs remain 16,000 of the oh my and we got teslas coming in behind flanking the mortars holy crap numbers are dropping like mad 900 700 600 500 400 300 200 100 60 40 30 20 15 14 10 7 5 4 2 1 winner holy crap nicola 
Tesla, you won. Jesus. That was insane. That was insane in the membrane. That was... Now that was a match, ladies and gentlemen. That was a match. 22 and a half minutes in the making. Very good. Good, sweet, delicious content. I enjoyed that very much uh, let's see chat you have been blowing it up thank you uh, goodbye mortars you were cute while you last yes they were quite cute and let's see only because edison wasn't there that is so true because he would have pulled the plug on on tesla that is for sure well ladies and gentlemen that's all i have in store for you tonight thank you for watching real time on twitch and if you're not watching in real time you must be on youtube also under the handle of not good enough gaming but i appreciate it thanks for always watching and i know you had a good time so did i and we'll do it again next week this is not good enough gaming smash that like button tickle the little bell icon and share this like it's the next viral video this has been a production of Not Good Enough Gaming. No gamers were harmed in the making of this video. Thanks for watching. This is Not Good Enough Gaming. Smash that like button, tickle the little bell icon, and share this like it's the next viral video. This has been a production of Not Good Enough Gaming. No gamers were harmed in the making of this video. Thanks for watching.